Hi everyone, this is Angel Tuzino with Angel's Divine Guide and welcome to the show. Give a shout out to Dave, he's doing an awesome job behind the scenes getting us our shows and getting us on time and on track. And by the way, Dave, my husband says good luck at wrangling me in and keeping me on track. All right, let's do a little bit of get to know Angel. Um, uh, Lots of questions I get is how long have I been doing this? I have been a psychic medium healer all my life. Um, I am psychic medium. I am a Reiki master. I am also a certified life skills coach. So I kind of use all energies. Uh, I do things a little differently. I let the team guide me, your team guide me as to the information that I'll be giving. I ask that all information that comes in for our callers is what they need to hear, not necessarily what they want to hear, as well as the information is in everyone's highest and best interest. So before the show, I was just doing a little bit of shuffling, and I came up with a couple of cards for all our viewers. And our first card is... Hopefully we can see it. Oh, that's upside down. Angel, let's get this right. See, I'm a little new at this. Okay, walking your truth. Okay, so walking your truth is more about empowering yourself to be who you truly want to be, what makes you truly happy, and not worrying about what other people think or say. Technically, what other people think about us is really none of our business. So remember that. They have two pains, one to get mad and one to get unmad. The second card that was picked, let's see, I got them all upside down tonight. Okay, being fearless. Okay, being fearless on this card, it's more meaning of, do you want to look back at your life and wonder what it would have looked like or what it might have been had you not been fearful of doing stuff? All right, so fear basically is nothing. It just means that we don't have a file on the subject yet. So think of a kid when they do their first day at school. They're so petrified. And we convince them, we calm them, we send them off to school. And by the time Friday comes, Saturday comes and they want to go off to school because now they have a file on it. So it's not fearful anymore. So just remember, go for it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You'll be in the same position that you are in right now. So let's see. You can basically reach me at crystalclear101.com. On there, you will have my email address. You will have my cell number for contacting and messaging. Follow me on my Facebook page, which is Crystal Clear Holistic Healing and Products. Um, In there, you can message me. I do answer messages on the side when I have time. As well, I am on tour with the Galaxy Psychic Fair. So I travel right through Canada and I am going from province to province. Um, I just got done the spring tour. So I landed, my last stop was Penticton, BC and I have just been home recovering. And now I started the radio show. I will be doing my next show will be in Thunder Bay in September and I will be doing the A1R Psychic show basically on location for the month of August and September so you better watch out you never know where I'll be landing it might be a town near you Canada keep an eye out keep in contact on what we're doing all right so let's see what we can do here is Ask questions, please. Um, Send them in to me on what you'd like to see on the show, and I'll do my best at delivering. I will conspire with the team and see what we can come up with. So now we're going to go into our first caller, if we have any there, Dave. I see it's Dawn. All right. So, hi, Dawn. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, and you? I'm doing okay, thank you. All righty, Dawn. Okay, so along with what I was doing before, I was picking cards for my first two callers of the night. And your card that came up is Shadow Self. Okay. 
So unless you learn to face your fears of your own shadow and moving forward, you're going to kind of always feel stuck where you are. Am I not mistaken? Like right now you feel like you're kind of um, in a holding pattern? Yeah, you're, you're 100% on. <laughs> yeah, I get that feeling. Um, in your, you're working right now? No. No? Okay, I see that no, it's, a possi- it's a possibility. I see an opportunity coming up if you choose to take it. Um, know that it's coming. Um, I'm just oh, wow. trying to get a figure of when. Yeah, I'm getting, does the number two mean anything to you? Does what? The number two. Does that mean anything to you? Yes. No, I can't think of anything. Okay, so that would tell me then we will we can be looking anywhere between two weeks from now, two months from now, the second of a month that you're going to get this opportunity. Um, oh, if I have That's to say, good. take take the second job offer that you're going to get. Don't jump at second the first one. one. Yeah, because the second one's more of a fit for you. Um, financially, it'll be better pay, and it's also going to allow you more time for at home because you're quite, um, family's very important to you. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you have three kids? No, I have one, but I feel like I one? have three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say, is there any I nieces have, or nephews? I have a grown daughter, and then I have um, my my cousins who are younger. One yes. is 13 and one is three, and I'm very close to them. Yeah, so you consider them your kids. So that's why I would be picking up three, because they're very close to you. Okay, um, yes. let's see, let's see. Your daughter, is she in university? I'm seeing lots of books. Like as if she's studying or she's going to be studying. Um, no, she's she's working, but she's in a she's in a managerial position, so it could be where you're seeing the book. Okay, um, I'm also getting a sense that she might be thinking of going back to school, and if she is, she should very much go for it. Okay, well, I love her go it, back it, to school. Yeah, they're they're kind of showing me like they're showing me the books and they're showing me like she's going to go up and over. And to me, that's when you have the opportunity to further your education or move up in a job position to a better pay. Okay. Okay. So okay, well, either one would be a wonderful set for her. All right. Yes. Now, does she have a boyfriend? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's the right one for her. Um, I sense that she's oh, kind of... God. Um, yeah, I'm feeling that she's kind of wondering if he is, but he kind of challenges her out of her comfort zone, if that makes sense. He definitely does because she is, she is an introvert and he is an extrovert. Yeah, so he kind of challenges her, and she does more stuff that she wouldn't normally do on her own. So, uh, sure. let me see, let me see. Okay, Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. let me see, let me see. Okay, who in the family has heart issues? Who in the family has what, heart issues? Heart issues. Heart issues. Um, either they've my aunt. either they ha- okay is she still with us yes okay all right um if you're if, some people aren't very close but if you're still close with her i think she should be getting a second opinion i'm not a medical but i'm just feeling like something's being missed okay Okay. okay. She she did have some stents put in and they said she was okay, but maybe she should have a second opinion. Yeah, I think she should have a second opinion because I'm just feeling like I'm feeling very tired and the fact that she's had this how long has since she had the stents put in? 
uh, for a few years now. Okay. Huh. Yeah, maybe she should get a second opinion because I'm feeling kind of um, tired and short of breath. Okay. 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 And usually that to me is a sign of heart issues. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see. Okay. Do you have a male um, father figure, grandfather figure on the other side? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm getting more like it's a grandfather figure. Mm, okay. So let's play with this a little bit. Okay. Did he smoke? Okay. Yes, he did. Okay. Mm, let me go. Let me go a little further into here because he's here. Okay. He, he's coming forward. I just want to see what message he has for you. Okay. Who in the family had a flat tire lately? He's making me feel like somebody's tire. had either a, yeah, a flat tire or a low tire or tire issues. Mm, I can't think of anyone. Okay. No, that's not a problem. Don't don't stress if you can't figure. It might make sense. You might be talking along the way and all of a sudden somebody's going to tell you, oh, yeah, I had a flat tire and you're going to go, ah, okay, now I know where it oh, goes. There it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, now, okay, do you see a lot of feathers? A lot of feathers? Yes. Like just random feathers? Random feathers in places that you kind of like, okay, what's a feather doing over here for? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. okay, know that this is the figure on the other side. Like I'm, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call him grandfather because that's the feeling I'm getting is okay. he's letting you know that he's with you. Okay, now have you talked to him lately? My my grandfather? Yeah. Uh, no. No? Well, he'd like you he's, to talk to him. I know been, it sounds he's weird. He's been deceased for, for over 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know it sounds weird. But even though they're deceased, okay, the body is what's not here. But the spirit, the energy is still with us all the time. They can hear us. Okay. They can yes. sense us, and and when they're near you, you will sense a, for, a familiar feeling. So it'll be like, oh, like that's familiar, that's weird. Know that that's him, okay? Okay. Do you get that kind of shadow out the side of your eyes, and when you look, nobody's there? Yes. Okay, know that that's him. You're seeing spirit, Okay. So he's just around okay. you. So he wants you to talk to him. Some people say saying your prayers, but I just say talk to them. So just, I tell a lot of people, just, you know, pour yourself a cup of coffee. Pour a, He likes tea. So pour him a cup of tea and just sit across the table and have a conversation like he's literally sitting there. Let him know I what that. you I mean, like. I, yeah. 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 Just sit there, talk with him. That. Let him know what you'd like, and he'll move heaven and earth for you to try and make it come true for you. Oh, I bet I know he would. Yeah, he would, because I'm going to say it on air. You were his favorite. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm, he's I'm making... the first grandchild, so that, that's yeah. why. He's making me feel like you spent a lot of time with him. Okay. So he's making yes. me feel like like he like you guys he couldn't go anywhere and you were like right behind him. If he turned around, you were like right there. Right. And he always had candy in his pocket for you. Yeah. Yeah. He's showing he's showing me candy, black licorice actually. Um, but that's what my grandfather <laughs> used to carry for me all the time. So. I sit there yeah. and I, and I kind of giggle and laugh. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any questions for me, Dawn? Um, yeah, I I had a question. Um, 
about my sister who passed on in, in 2016. I, okay. I just want to wonder if she's, she's at peace and everything. Oh, I yes. Did. Yeah. Like a lot of people ask those questions. Um, I, I also cross people over and a lot of people go, you do what? And I'm like, yeah, like I cross people over. So I, I walk both worlds, actually. Um, some people call that shamanism. I just cross people over. So I have okay. been on the other side. Okay. So everybody's worries is gone. There's no time. There's no pain. Everything is just peaceful, calming, and relaxing. Okay, and know that a spirit right. can be in more than one place at the same time. So thinking that, okay, grandpa's with me, he's not with anybody else. No, he can be with everybody at the same time. It's just, there's no time right. on the other side. So they can okay. be, do anything they want to be. A lot of them um, will come to what I, I shouldn't say the true form, but a lot of them will show themselves to me at a time in their life where they were the happiest, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay. So know, know that she doesn't have any more pain. She's not unhappy. She's quite happy. And the, fa the fact that she hasn't come through with the message tonight, take that as a good sign. Okay. That's meaning that okay. she's actually happy of the way things are going for you in your life. So she really doesn't have a message. Um, if there was any okay. message, was there, was there somebody with her when she passed? No. No? Okay. Because she's making no, she me feel well. like. You know, there, okay. it, someone could have been, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, weird situation. Okay. She's her, making she me feel. She lived with her boyfriend and he says. No, he wasn't there when she passed away and he found her, but we don't know. Well, she's making me feel like there was somebody there or when she passed, somebody either thought or said something when they found out. Sort of like, um, it, it might have even been you. I, I'm just trying to get... I'm just trying to get a feeling as to what it is. But she's making me feel that whatever was said, she heard it. Okay? And know that when she okay. passed, she was not alone. Because when we cross over, the ones that are in, in our lives who have already passed before us, meet us and help us across. Okay. Okay? So like when I'm crossing somebody over and I'm bringing them to the light or bringing them to the other side, like I did for my grandfather, the family was all there for him. So everybody that had passed, his, his, my grandmother, my father, my uncle, all the ones who were on the other side were there to meet my grandfather when we crossed him over. Okay. So Perfect. know that, mm -hmm. that it's like that for everyone, that death isn't as um, sad or depressing as most people think it's it's just another leg of our life it's just our bodies have ceased they, they can't hold our energy anymore so our bodies give right. out our energy never does okay mm. so no yep. so know that that she's at peace okay that's great to know thank you so much i hope that helps you a lot my girl uh, it, it definitely did. I really appreciate it. That's really the one thing that I wanted to know. Okay. Um, I have to go on to the next caller. Okay. So. Okay. I wish Thank you the you. best of luck. Okay. Keep in contact. Okay. All right. I'll, I will. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi, Celine. You're from Hunter in Tennessee. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Hi, Hunter. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am doing awesome. Okay. Kind of nervous. So like I was, oh, that's all right. You join me. This is my first show. I'm very nervous. I'm bumping the table. I'm shaking the video. I'm just like, I'm <laughs> French. So I talk with my hands. I go completely bonkers. Okay. 
So like I was saying, I pulled cards before the show. I did a little meditation. Your card that came up is compassion. You got the compassion card, okay? Love and compassion yeah. towards others starts with love and compassion towards yourself, okay? Um, I yeah. get the feeling that you're quite hard on yourself. Um, I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I think at some point in our life, we all are. I'm still hard on myself. Um, we always seem to expect more to, out of ourselves than what other people expect out of us, okay? So okay. it's more, love yourself a little more. Be compassionate right. and be gentle, okay? And if you're okay. having a bad day and you feel like you want to cry, just give yourself permission to cry and cry. It's all right, okay? okay Honor yourself. You. Honor how you feel. All right. Do you have any questions for me, Hunter? Um, do you feel like anybody that has passed over, so are they like coming to you? Okay. Um, do you have um, a grandmother on the other side? I do, a great grandma, yeah. Okay. Um, did you know her quite well? Yes. Yeah. You spent a lot of time with her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Was she a very well-dressed woman? Oh, my God. Yes, she was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's showing me, like, I don't go outside unless my hair is done, my lipstick's on, because nobody gets yes. to see me in my nighty. Uh -uh, no. Okay? <laughs> now, family was very important to her. Um, she's, she's showing me that you guys were a, a fairly big family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah, lots of grandchildren and cousins, and she loved the family get togethers. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, she's kind of making a joke. Um, did something happen this Christmas for you? Um, I don't know, like, what specific? She, she's making yeah. me feel like everybody was sitting at the Christmas table. And everybody was done eating, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, we forgot the corn or the gravy or something like that. But and it, and it was a running joke. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She she's laughing on the other side. She's going, ha! Huh, they thought it was so easy when they just had to show up and eat. They're now realizing what it takes to put on a family meal. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I I love her. She she loves to joke. She's yeah, she yeah. still does. Yeah. Okay, my girl, have you seen her? Uh, yeah, I have. Yes. Yeah, she's telling me that she comes to you quite often. Um, know, know when you get that feeling that your hair is standing up on the back of your neck. Know that she's right behind you and, she, and you might feel a little tingly on your left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Know that she's yeah. putting her hand on you, okay? Okay. All right? And and know that she's always with you, all right? Now, I'm getting the two-minute warning here, so i got to speed this up for you. Okay, know that okay. she's always with you. She's with you in the car. She's with you at all times. So just like I was telling the caller before, just talk to her like she's here, okay? Like her body is what's gone, not her spirit, not her soul. So she can hear you, she can see you, and obviously you can see her, okay? Yeah. So continue to talk to her, all right? And, and she wants you to be happy, all right? So she knows that you're going to have to shift some things up in your life and you're going to have to do some hard decisions because there's... <laughs> have you thought about changing your job? Um, no, I'm just 15 at the moment, that's... Okay. She, she's making me feel like you go, that you have to make a decision and you have to change something. That's going to be a hard decision for you. Okay? Like, she's, she's making me feel like you, you that you're having a rough time right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, know that she's going to be there and trust 
that gut feeling, that first thing that pops in your head, go with that because know that she's with you and she's guiding you and they will never guide us in the wrong direction. Okay. And know that whatever okay. decision you make today, if it's, if, if it's right for you today, that's with the information that you have today. Okay. So know that tomorrow that you're going to learn more information. So it's okay to change your mind again. It's perfectly fine. Okay, because we grow every day and we get more and more information. All right. Now, my girl, go to my website at Mm crystalclear101.com and get a hold of me so that we can go a little further because I'm sensing I'm sensing there's a little more deeper that we have to go that I really don't want to go online with. If that makes sense to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just tell me that you talked to me on the show. Give me your name and... We'll see what we can do for you, okay? 